L.A. city officials reveal plans today to build a new landmark just south of the Ports of Call. They want to turn a rundown pier at City Dock Number 1 into a world-class research facility. NBC 4's Ted Chen is live at 5 in San Pedro. Ted, how long is it going to take to complete this transformation? Lucy, the estimates are it will take about 15 to 20 years and generate some 4,000 construction jobs. And given the physical beauty of San Pedro, the hope is people will start to appreciate it. Unfortunately, we are the only slum by the sea in the state. Like many longtime residents, John Papadakis thinks San Pedro can be more than big ships and big containers. It's where the Port of Los Angeles brings in billions of dollars worth of goods a year, but ironically, it's one of the city's most neglected areas. The Harbor area is a very poor area, and it shouldn't be because we have our relationship with the sea. That relationship took a big step forward today with the unveiling of Alta Sea, the name of a new marine research center to be built on abandoned docks in San Pedro that will bring together marine biologists and scientists from LA's top colleges, including UCLA and USC. They'll study fisheries and pollution and tsunamis with the goal of helping our oceans survive. It's 70 percent of this planet and we need to take care of it and uh, we have not done such a good job on it so far. It's also about caring for San Pedro itself. The Marine Research Center joins the aging Ports of Call Village as one of two areas targeted for redevelopment. LA City Council Member Joe Buscaino wants to bring San Pedro back to its glory days of the 1980s. This place was once thriving. I remember my dad being a fisherman. We came after a catch. We'd spend money down here. The first phase of Alta Sea will cost about $50 million, split between the port and private donations. Officials say the overall price tag will be about a half a billion dollars, which they hope to raise mostly privately. Residents like Papadaka see San Pedro joining the likes of Santa Monica and San Diego, a port that brings in people and not just their stuff. Look at the transformation that happened in Orange County when Disneyland, public use infrastructure. Look at the transformation at LA Live. And wanting to give greater, great, uh, greater recognition to this area, L.A. City Councilman Tom LaBonge has proposed renaming the Harbor 110 Freeway the San Pedro Freeway. Reporting live from San Pedro, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Back to you, Chuck and Lucy.